in this period, we are looking at the wisdom in the tiniest of all creatures called the ants. Because the scriptures encourages us, you know, in Proverbs 6, 6, the Lord says, go to the ants. You sluggard, go and consider her ways and be wise. God says, if you can study the ants, then you'll be wiser and they can do far more. Uh, <laughs> compared to where God wants us to be, compared to the potential inside of you, inside of you, inside of me, you know, we are sluggards. You know, we're, 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 we're still a little bit far removed from our potential. But the wisdom is coming so we can, we can catch up. Now, let's talk about the, uh, the ants now. One of the secrets that the scientists have discovered about the ant is their speed. Is their speed. Now, scientists have discovered, confirming God's word, that the ant is very fast for its size. They look tiny and it looks like they are very, very slow. But when you compare their speed to the speed of man, the ant, the ant is very, very fast. In fact, the one way to think about it is this. If we were as human beings, physically as fast as the ant is fast in movement, we will be running as fast as race horses. You know, when you watch, you know, race horsing, uh, horse racing on TV, you see all the incredible um, uh, of time that is taken to prepare those horses. You know, if we, as human beings, were physically as fast as the ant is physically fast, we would be as fast as red horses. Now, the Lord is not calling us to physical speed of that nature, but he's talking about spiritual speed, life speed. You know, so one thing about this is this, is that the way God works is that he enables us in seasons of life to go at incredible speed, unusual speed. He enables us to achieve so much in little space of time. And that's why the Lord has, and we have learned about the school of preparation. If we are prepared well, then when the time of performance comes, or the time of manifestation comes, so much is achieved in such a little space of time. So much is achieved in such a little space of time. You know, talk about our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, he, he was on earth and then he, he was at 8.30 that he was able to, uh, he started off his public ministry. And his public ministry was about three and a half years. And then he went up to heaven. Now, physically speaking, three and a half years is not, is not enough time to do much. I mean, how, but what he did in that period, what he did in that three and a half years, you know, you know and then end up in the cross. And he ended up dying on the cross and resurrecting. And since that time, you know, the whole of life's history, man's history has changed. He packaged so much by the grace of God into that space of time. And now, what, what was it that he did so, so well? The thing is this, that the disciples that were his, the, the focus who were going to carry on his work, he spent time with them. Bible scholars have calculated that in three and a half years, that he spent, Jesus spent with the disciples, you know, Peter, John, and the twelve, you know, was equivalent to 18 years of university study. They calculated in terms of, you know, university, you know, you have, you have sessions, you have terms, you have semesters, you know, but in his own case, he, he had those, those men, you know, and, and a few of the women spending time with him. They were working together, traveling together, you know, and so when you can put all that time together, he spent 18 years equivalent of investor studies with, with those, and that's why he couldn't leave them alone. In the same way, in the same way, the, the, the times in your life when you are able to achieve so much, you know, in little space of time. So don't think again anymore to think, oh, well, I will use three years to do this, I will use five years. It's good to all, do, all those planning, but with God, you can abridge time, you can fast forward time, you can press, you know, fast forward, you know, and go very quickly. And that's what happens. I can share with you many times in, my, in our lives, you know, in my, in my own life and people around me, when I've seen God, you know, fast track and bring 
great speed into their life. But that comes by being in tune with God, by understanding with God, and working hard, and, and, and doing far more than we can do. And then God takes over and gives us incredible speed. So today, I'm leaving you with this wisdom, with this charge. It is possible for you to go faster than you are going fast, than you are right now. If you can work with the Holy Spirit, He will take you faster. Because He's there. He's there already. He knows what that future is. He's just to take you from here to there. You know, in science fiction, they have all these things they call time machine. And you know, when people enter a machine and then they fly into the future and all of that. You know, that's 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 you know science science fiction. But in reality, the Holy Spirit, God can enable a man, a woman, go faster than they are doing right now. He did it with Jesus. He's done it in my own life in so many examples, you know. And I'm also speaking to somebody's life. Somebody who you have been very slow, things have become very stagnant in your life. I'm giving you a charge. I'm giving you a word that within the next one year, you will catch up. You will go faster. But you need to work with the Holy Spirit. You need to work harder. And then He will just lift you, boom, from zero to, to hero. Hallelujah. From prison to prime minister. Everything can happen in 24 hours, in one year. But that is so long as you have been ready, He has been preparing you. So God bless you. And I look forward to your testimonies. I look forward to your stories. If you want to hear the whole of this series, you know, please write us and we'll send that to you. Um, and then, um, but of course, if you're also in Aberdeen, if you're in Scotland, please feel free to worship with us at City of God. God bless you and see you again soon.